This last set of drills are, uh, as you can see here, are, are, are pass protection drills and techniques that uh, we work on. Some of them are just about every day. Um, the first one is sets on air. I get the kids lined up by their position, and this would be a one-step outside set. Okay, they're they're in their different stances and working the left side sliding to their left, the right side sliding to their right. We go one and two steps. Okay, and again, I'm just out there just yelling set hut, and I'm just having them visualize or set to, to different techniques. Okay, that would be a three-step outside set, three steps. So I go one step, two step, and then three step. This is a one step inside set. Uh, you've got a, a, a head up defender, and you need to take away that inside. This is a two step in power, okay? This is a, a defender that's in your inside here, slide protection, whatever it might be. We're going power. This is set, reset, kick. So you have a head-up defender that's working back to your outside right there. Again, we want to make sure the, the, the post foot comes back inside. This is a set, reset, kick. So we're going inside, back out. So we're just working the different changes of direction. The one coaching point on this is you want to make sure that they bring their first step back underneath them before they try to change direction. Mirror drills, great conditioning drills. This could have been uh, included in the off-season things as well. Partner up right here. Okay, we've got the cones about five yards apart, and we're just working laterally back and forth. Okay, just keeping posture and balance, keeping the feet up underneath us on this. Um, we can add to this as, as, as we go. You can widen the cones. You can narrow the cones. It's not a lot of contact, as you can see. We're just working the mirror. This works really good if you can get, like, fast, really fast kids in there, too. Work it with the D linemen. If you can get some DBs or linebackers in there, uh, even better. The faster the look, the better. Again, it really emphasizes the posture. Here we're just uh, – it's kind of I, – I, I equate this to just uh, – going one-on-one -on, -one on a basketball game trying to score to the hoop right here set the cones up the kid has one move to beat to beat our guy to beat the offensive man on this and again we want to be on good balance and posture make sure we get our feet back in front of us this would simulate a linebacker coming or a, or a twister picking up a twister now we've uh, I'll do this in pads we're trying to score we're actually trying to, to get inside the cones right here the offensive man has to slide and stay in front no leaning, no reaching, and keep the feet moving all the time. Again, don't let him score. Get your feet in front. Don't back up, okay? Stay in front of the line. Keep your heels in front of the line. I don't like what this kid's doing. He's backing up and giving ground, and, and, and 63 is just scoring easily. John Teague's scoring easily on him right here. You know, he's getting tired, and he's leaning right there. Again, that's a, that's a great, great conditioning drill as well. We go about 10 seconds with that. These are just different drills that we're working on punching, working the timing of our hands. We just get some medicine balls here. We've got these orange balls. Uh, we'll partner up, get them on their knees, as you can see right there. We want to fire the ball at about chin level. And again, just work the punch. What I don't want to see is anyone leaning to, to punch the ball. You want to punch and, and, and actually throw the head and shoulders back, but no leaning into the ball. Fire that thing go back and forth. We go about six or seven reps with it and have them change change partners in the drill. Here we're just, again, we're partnered up. Um, we're working to, 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 to get our pass set and uh, set and, and, and punch to the near point of the, of the defender. When I, on my command, the kids start to lean, then I'll say hut, and the offensive kids will get up, okay, <laughs> out of their set and uh, punch that near point. Again, I, I have them turned sideways, so there's not a big surface area for them there to, there to attack. They have to get their hands on them. All right, good posture, and I want the feet to work as, as well. I want them to feel the ground with their feet as they, as they get up and punch. The, the hand should be fully extended here as you, as you punch out. Again, the key is make sure that they're, that they're leaning into the defender. So I'll say set, and then wait for those defenders to lean, and then I'll say hut, and the, and the offensive kids will get up. I hope this uh, tape has helped you uh, to come up with some ideas uh, uh, thoughts about what you might be able to incorporate during the season and in the offseason with your kid.